Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier and in our this particular video, I will be introducing you with this simple concept of decision tree, okay, which is very very important supervised learning algorithm, okay. So we will be learning the MATLAB code in our next video, but before going to code, we should know a little bit theory of the decision tree. So decision tree learning is one of the predictive modeling approaches used in statistics, data mining and machine learning. A decision tree is a flowchart like tree structure. Tree you might have studied like binary tree in data structure algorithm course. All right. Uh, same kind of tree we use here uh, where each internal node denotes a test on an attribute. Each branch represents an outcome of the test and each leaf node that is terminal node holds a class level. Okay, so this is one classification algorithm. Like here, the whole statement I can ex explain with this particular example. See, this is one tree-like structure which is can which can be used to predict whether I need to go out for buying shampoo or not. If, if we already have shampoo, then we no need to go outside, right? So am I out of shampoo? No, that means I have shampoo, so do not go to the market. But am I out of shampoo if this particular question outcome comes as yes, then you need to go to market. But suppose it is raining cats and dogs outside. So you cannot go. Okay, so is it raining? Yes, then no need to go to market. Is it raining? No. If the outcome is no, then okay, all right, you, you are running out of shampoo and there is no rain outside, so you should go to market and buy if you require. So see, simple, simple decisions we are taking and finally we are getting outcomes whether I should go to the market or not. Here, don't go to the market, go to the market, these are outcomes and you can see the outcome are at the terminal node of the tree. So it is clearly written each leaf node holds a class level. Class level means outcome of our classification. Okay, right? Each branch represents an outcome of the test. See, all these things like am I out of shampoo? Is it raining? These are basically test on a attribute. Okay, what attribute that uh, we need to decide whether we need to go to market or not. So basically we are doing testing in the internal nodes and the branches are holding outcome of the test like here am i out of shampoo yes no these are basically branches of the decision tree all right so i hope this statement you have understood easily with this particular tree structure decision tree now let me discuss how you can apply decision tree suppose you are having one data set so here one 2d data set we are having suppose this is v2 that is variable 2 and this is variable one. Now there are two class in our data set. I have drawn using two separate colors. One is purple and another one is black color. Suppose black color one is category one and purple color one is category two. Now how we can take decision whether a particular uh, uh, point in a 2D plane comes under category one or category, category two. So for that, how it works, try to understand. It gives cuts such that maximum amount of a particular category comes under a particular cut. Like here you can see, if I, if I give a cut like this, then this is justifiable. A huge amount of purple color category is coming under this particular class, right? And here black and purple color mixtures are coming. Suppose this is a. Okay, so we will be first making one decision whether V2 is greater than A or less than A, right? Then the maximum amount of a particular class we can achieve using suppose here we are making one cut. Okay, so suppose this cut goes like this and here it goes cuts to suppose V1 equal to this is B. Okay, right? Then this above part is completely classified into two categories but here below part this is dotted line this is not actually classification now this part completely holds basically only one category so it is well and good that if we give one cut here and which will clearly indicate if 
variable 1 is less than suppose c then it will come under this purple category otherwise we need to decide whether black category or purple category so here in this particular class we can give one cut like this which may be go like here d suppose this line this point corresponding to v2 equal to d now how you can do classification suppose first one v2 greater than a okay if it is greater than a th that means two possible outcome we will be having one is yes it is greater than a or else no okay if it is greater than a then we need to think about this whole part observe the mouse pointer this whole part okay this part and if it is less than a we need to consider this below part for the time being i will be just simply removing these particular dots so that you will not be getting any confusion now this is our first decision and based on first decision we are we cannot conclude anything like because if v2 greater than a then also it may come under either black or purple category and if it is comes less than a then also black and purple category we need to check something more suppose greater than a v2 is greater than a that is consider the above part above part in the above part of line a you can easily decide whether coming under black category or purple category just one more decision you have to take whether v1 is greater than v1 is greater than b or not see v1 is equal to b here so if v1 is greater than b and v2 is greater than a that means nothing but this will indicate this particular category so we will conclude okay that will be purple category otherwise if v2 is greater than a that means in the above part if v1 is greater than a is false suppose this is corresponding to no this is corresponding to yes so if v1 is greater than b is false that means this particular part so that will be nothing but black right so using this above part job is done now the this branch you need to consider if v2 less than a that is this part so how we can think about this part so for the time being let me just erase this particular part to avoid confusion actually these are not decision lines just i have drawn to show you exact algorithm all right so we are actually having these cuts so what we can conclude from here we can check if v1 for that particular point is greater than c or less than c if it is less than c then no doubt that will be coming under purple category because any point here 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 will come under purple category so for this no branch we will be checking if v1 less than c or not okay all right two possible outcome again it may happen one is obviously yes and another one is obviously no if v1 less than c try to understand very clear care, carefully v1 less than c means this particular point because here v2 less than a and v1 less than c that is indicating this region so if v1 less than c condition is satisfied no doubt that will be purple color now if it is greater than c if v1 is greater than c and v2 less than a that will indicate the whole region it may be black it may be purple again we need to check one more condition that is this cut suppose this cut is corresponding to d right so we will be checking if v2 greater than d or not again two possible outcomes possible one is yes another one is obviously no now v2 greater than d that will be coming under obviously this particular region so it will be black and v2 less than d will come under this purple region so purple all right so this is how this is the whole decisions we what we have what we can take for determining a 2d point defined using v1 and v2 variable coming under which category in between these two black and purple okay so this is simple decision tree right using some decisions some questions and finding the answers we can clearly calculate 
what on what category our 2d point will lie okay so this is what whole concept of decision tree obviously very much highly complicated maths and uh, statistics is there behind this particular algorithm but we no need to think that much because in matlab there is inbuilt function available and that is this one decision tree just you need to first import the data set and then you need to use this inbuilt function fit c tree and that's all your job will be done okay i'll be showing matlab uh, code in my next upcoming video this is all for my this video if you find this video helpful please like share and comment subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos thank you